Hey guys! Okay, so today I knocked out my closet! And, well, I didn't literally knock it out. I mean, like, I got it done, like I did that. And my camera is really cloudy, so give me a second and I'm gonna use my shirt to try and make it a little less cloudy. There we go. Hopefully that helped a little. Uh, anyway, no, I did knock out my closet. Rebel just shook. Rebel, where are you? Oh, ignore the messy dresser right there. Um, Yes, I knocked out my closet, meaning I clean it all out. And you guys ready to see? Here's what we have for, oh, hold on. There's something on the floor there. My my weight was on the floor and then Rebel's dog toy. Um, and it, the floor is really messy. I'm waiting to vacuum until I have everything out of here because I just don't want to vacuum twice. But anyway, move my desk chair here. Um, here's what the closet looks like we have my dresser right here and there's some clothes in there and then we have my shoes right here and then my shirts are um they're folded up right now because I may leave them folded up because I don't think it's too much of a pain to move a pair of shoes to grab a shirt. Um, I actually prefer, I've always preferred my clothes folded rather than hung up on hangers. I've just kind of always been that way. So I might leave those. And as you can see, I kind of ran out of hangers. So I would have to buy new hangers to hang all those up. But um, then in here I have undergarments in this one, socks and leggings in this the second one and the third one I have jeans and in the bottom one I have like pajama pants and like my pajama stuff that um, I kind of um, it's kind of like full in there but you know with the warm fleecy pants I don't really get into it that often during summer I figure maybe during the winter time or whatever I can move the drawer up or switch it with a different one or something like that and then I have some tank tops hanging up right here um, and then on this side I have, right now, um, I have some shirts all hung up, some dresses hung up, etc, etc. I have my shorts. I'm going to show you guys actually how I've been hanging my shorts. I hang them like this. So it's like there's a pocket and then the pocket and then it's just kind of like in the middle over a hanger like this. So that's how I hung my shorts. If I can get this lying back in here. Uh, da, 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 da. Give me a second. I ruined it. No. And then um, down here, I've actually, ooh, if you can see, uh, down here, I've just got some stuff that I have just sitting there right now. That's the stuff that I'm going to be throughout, like, my room. It's not staying in the closet. I actually have one of these little hoopty gig things right here, only it's got 10 drawers, and they're a little bit smaller. Um, or they might be a little bit smaller, uh, but that's going to be where my craft stuff goes. Like I had mentioned before, just my phone case supplies and my different crafts and like tape and glue and just all that kinds of stuff will be in the little drawers right here that will be here. Um, but I don't have that yet. I ordered it offline, so it will be here. And so yes, this right here is what my closet looks like. Now that you can see, and then it will be closed. And I'll be able to use one, two, three doors. I won't be able to use the fourth door just because I have something. Uh, my TV stand is going to be sitting right there and my TV is going to be right there. So, and it's echoing here like crazy. So I'll go ahead and show you guys what else I have got going on. I'm just going to stand in the corner up here. I know my lighting's bad right here. But uh, that dresser is going to go in storage. Um, and then I just have a bunch of stuff just sitting right there. That's going to be stuff that is going to go in my room as well. Um, and then over here is just these right here are just like all trash bags. Like the bags are trash bags. And then I have other stuff piled up that's just stuff that's going to go throughout my room. And then um, hung up in the closet and stuff as well. I just haven't gotten to that yet. Um, and then I got my nail polish rack over there. I need to make two new nail polish racks uh, because as you guys can see, this one right here is kind of overflowing. Let me stand out of the light here. This one's kind of overflowing. I, I've had to like store some upside down and like sideways and it's just gotten way, way, way um, overflowed. <laughs> so um, I'm going to have to... Uh, 
I'm going to have to uh, make two new nail polish racks. And when I do make them, or if I do make them and I show you guys an updated nail polish collection or whatever, um, in the description box of that video, video will be the uh, link to the video that I um, got the DIY from. So it will give you, um, uh, what was I going to say? It will give you all the instructions and directions on how to make them and everything. Um, the only things that you need are foam board and a yardstick to make measurements, a pencil to make little marks, and a hot glue gun. That's that's all you need to make those. So um, I'm going to get, because that one's black with like zebra, because I made it to match my room, I'm actually going to, Rebel, calm down, okay? I'm filming. Calm down. It's okay. You're a good boy. Yeah, you're a good boy. Are you a good boy? Uh, I love you. <laughs> Can you say I love you? Can you say I love you? Can you tell me? Can you say I love you? He doesn't want to talk right now. <laughs> but anyway, no, I need to go and get... I'm all flushed. And red. I've been working a lot today. Um, but I need to get a white foam board. And I'm going to make two... I'm going to put the one back right there, and then I'm going to make another second one and put it behind the door right there. So they'll be, like, right across from each other. So that's awesome! I'm so excited to do all this, and it's very much Lee coming along. Um, I can't really do anything else myself without the help of a strong guy with muscles. Um, I did take the drawers out of the dresser and pull it out and everything like that, but... Um, I need a strong guy with muscles now, so I gotta wait till my boyfriend um, comes over so he can help me take my dresser to storage. And I have another um, table and shelf that I need to take to storage with a couple other boxes, as well as underneath that big TV right there is actually a console TV, like a really, really, really old school console TV that used to be uh, my grandma and grandpa's. And I'm keeping it. I'm just going to take it and put it in storage as well. But I can't lift it myself because it's so heavy because it's a console. So I need my boyfriend and probably another strong guy to pr probably bring one of his friends to uh, carry that up and out into the storage unit for me. Um, but yes, I'm so excited. Oh, and as for my bedding, um, I did order my bedding for my new bed. Um, I'm not going to show you guys what it is. Uh, I don't want you guys to see it until it's like all done because I don't know I might end up showing you anyway though It depends on if I put the bed in. I don't want to put the bed in before I paint so I probably won't but apart from Getting the furniture out that I need to take to storage Shaken not stirred um, apart from taking the sto taking the furniture to storage, then I can start painting. Ah! And yes, it's going to be that bubblegum pink color. The closet is not getting painted, for those of you who are wondering. The closet's staying the same, and the carpet's staying the same. Um, my trim is going to be white, so all that green is going to be white, and then the black is going to be pink. Now, I know a lot of people have been asking, how is it going to be possible to cover the black with pink? Uh, what you do is you get a primer, and I'm getting Kills Primer, and basically what it does is it's either like a clear or white coat. It's one of the two. I can't remember, but um, it's called Kills Primer and Sealer or something. I think I got the double, and um, you paint the black with it just like you would with regular paint, and then it kind of like puts a layer over the black so the pink turns out more opaque so I have to paint the whole room except the ceiling I don't have to do the ceiling because the ceiling's white so I have to paint the walls with the kills primer stuff first let that completely dry and then I can paint over it probably two coats with pink um, so I'm going to do two coats on the walls and I'm going to do the ceiling as well just so it's about the same um, the same shade you know I don't want it to be too off so, with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and go for today. Um, yeah, and keep keep checking in on this channel. Um, however, I will not be working on my room Saturday or Sunday. 
neither of those days uh, because Saturday, Marissa, Missy, you guys know her as Missy, she is coming over and we are going to do a little birthday party get together thing for her and her actual birthday is on Sunday and we're going to go out to eat and stuff like that. I don't know if she's going to let me vlog her birthday. I don't know if I'm going to vlog her birthday because it's kind of like a personal thing, um, but I don't know. Maybe she'll vlog a little bit. So um, if she does, I will let you guys know so you can go check it out on her channel, but um, yeah, and when I was cleaning my closet, I found this rat toy, like, it's a fake rat for, like, Halloween, and it had a squeaker in it, well, yeah, it had a squeaker in it, but, um, Revel's been playing with it because, I don't know, he just loves it, and the nose was already chewed off, <laughs> I don't know what dog got to it or what animal got to it, but the nose was already chewed off, so... Does it look creepy? It looks really creepy right there without a mouth. Okay then, moving on. <laughs> um, yeah, okay, so I guess I will probably talk to you guys on Monday or Tuesday. Um, cause I'm gonna take the next couple days for a little bit of a break cause I've been working nonstop for the past couple days. And uh, yeah, I finally got a good decent night's sleep last night. I hadn't gotten like much sleep in the last like four or five days and then last night I finally got like a good 10 hours of sleep because I was so behind on sleep oh my gosh because I was so worried about like my room and trying to figure everything out and now that I got everything figured out I'm super happy I'm super stoked and I'm gonna go now so I'll talk to you guys soon okay bye